Good morning. This is an important reminder regarding the OSSLT literacy test. Tomorrow we will be starting with uh, people whose last names begin with letters A to P. Please report to the library as soon as you arrive to school uh, by 8.05 if you can, right in front of the library because you need to set up, you need to log in, and we need to get you organized so you can start and have enough time to write. Uh, in letters P to Z, we'll be writing on Wednesday unless you have made special arrangements with Mrs. Gillia. So if you have any questions, you can see me in Student Success or you can see Mrs. Gillia in Guidance and please be at the library on time on your designated date. You should have received an email. Thanks very much and good luck tomorrow. Good morning, STM. This past Thursday, your STM wrestlers kicked off their wrestling season at Bishop Ryan with a much bigger than expected tournament, um, but we did very well. Um, for the rookie boys, our third place finishers were Aaron Gregory, Eunice Kinassi, Joshua Burt, Nathaniel Daniel, Caleb Grice. Second place finishers were Nathan Evangelista, Mohammed Alhamad, uh, Wakili Fawad. And our first place finisher for rookie boys was Damian Stokes. On the girls' side, which is loaded with OFSA champions, we held our own with third place finishers coming from Juliana Scalgen and Alegres Matukala Nikosi. And second place was Jennifer Di Medeiros. For the open boys division, fourth place finishers were Phoenix Santi and Aiden Cook. Phoenix probably wrestled the best he's ever wrestled and just missed a medal. Third place was Luca Capretta. And we had a first place finisher. And even though he's in grade nine, they put him to the open boys and he dominated. And that was Mohammed Al Shaddat. I will get better at that name because I think we'll be hearing it a lot this year. Oh, from the open boys side, there's a few names missing. Badi Kalabus and his brother Mohammed Kalabus, who are both in contention to get a medal, but Badi was injured and ended up going to the hospital. He was completely fine, but our team captain, Yusuf Akrabawi, who is our two-time city champion, decided to pull out. He was in the semifinals, decided he wanted to be with his teammate at the hospital. So he was an incredible captain, kept us posted the whole time, and Badi should be back on the mats later this week. But despite us losing those three out of medal contention, our rookie boys came first overall, and out of over 300 wrestlers and 32 teams, our STM wrestling team came second, losing a close one to BR. But BR knows we missed those three medals, so we'll see what happens next time. If you are still interested in wrestling, if your fall sport is finished, we would love to have you on the team. Come see Miss Napoleoni in room 254 for forms, or Mr. Medeiros. Our next tournament is December 1st, and uh, come out and join us. Thanks a lot, STM. Hello, STM. My name's Nika. And my name's Alessa. And we are from the Diversity Committee. In case you didn't know, it is the Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week. It is a time to promote awareness and understand what it is all about and its impact. Bullying is unwanted aggressive behavior towards others that can happen in situations where there is real or perceived power imbalance carried out by one person or a group of people. It can be a symptom of bias or discrimination. There are five different types of bullying, which are physical, verbal, social, written, and cyberbullying. Physical is the use of unwanted physical actions against another to gain control and power. It is also damaging and stealing of property. Verbal is name calling, mocking, and shameful, threatening, humiliating, or discriminatory comments. Social is the exclusion and humiliation of others. Written, Written, oh, okay. Writing notes or graffiti that, hurt, that are hurtful or insulting. Cyberbullying is when someone bullies or harasses others using social media. Bullying is unacceptable in all its forms. STM, it is our job as a school community to uplift others and support others around us. Don't stand up, stand by. Don't say bye, stand up. Talk to someone and make our school a safe place for all. Today, all period one classes will participate in an activity to help pass the message of positivity and kindness. Teachers, please check your email and mailbox. We will now leave you with a quote by Michael P. Watson. Strong people don't put others down, they lift them up. Thanks, Thanks STM, and, and have, have a wonderful, wonderful day. day. 
Hey STM, I'm Kiara from your Halloween for Hunger Executive Committee, here to remind all MAPS Planning Committee members to hand your volunteer hour forms in. You can pick up a volunteer hour form from Guidance and fully fill it out and return it to us so you may receive the hours you deserve for all your hard work. Please hand these forms in as soon as possible. Thanks STM. Good morning STM, my name is Dominique and here are your announcements for today. The first cut list for the Junior Girls Volleyball team has been posted outside of Room 310. There will be another tryout today at 3 p.m. Thanks from your coaches. Thank you to everyone who tried out for Novice Volleyball. A first cut has been posted outside of Room 310. If your name appears on the list, you are asked to attend tonight's 5 p.m. tryout. This is a reminder for any Grade 9 boys who have advanced to the next tryout of Novice Boys Basketball. The list posted outside of the gym. The tryout is today at 6 p.m. Please wait to be let into the gym by the coach. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22, and remember, it's a great day to be an